What's your last name? Morris. Sir? Morris. M O R R I S? Yes, sir. Mr. Morris, what's your first name? Quentin. Quentin? Yes, sir. Q U I N T. O N. And you get all that stuff squared away? Sir. You get all that stuff squared away? Yeah. Um, Mr. Morris. I'll let you get done talking to him. What's your date of birth? And what's your social? Uh, I don't even know it by heart. Mr. Morris, sir, I, I need to be able to verify who you are. I call my mama. I don't know about her. What's your date of birth? I just know uh, my last okay. four digits. What's, your What's the last four digits? Sir, what's your brother doing? How you know my brother? You know my brother? I know your whole family, man. Yeah. I yeah. You probably know my mama. I know y'all probably know my mama, Jack. I, 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 de I de with you and your 290 dispatch. I got y'all, uh, where y'all at? Man. I promise in the suite that night. Y'all had him, uh, that big old party. Need to run a uh, driver by name and date of birth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big old party. Doesn't know his social. What you got some fertilizer for, man? So, no, I'm on the first line. Huh? Quebec uniform, India, November. Tango, Oscar, November. She's going to get mad that I didn't do <laughs> So what would it take for you actually to get your driver license? So, so possibly... I just got to go down and take the drive test stuff. When? It, 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 it looked look like but, I should have been, been did. Well, well yeah, because you're driving without a license. Yes, but the whole thing is that, it, you know, to write you a whole bunch mm -hmm. of tickets for no insurance and no driver license... As opposed to if you turned around and actually went and got it, that I would, you know, be more apt to go before a judge and say, well, he did actually go get his driver license and a bunch of other things. So, Point I be a learner's permit. No history. 10-4, his permit's valid. The status is saying none. 10-4. Can I get the uh, number off the uh, permit? Thank you. So, Mr. Morris, sure. if I actually wrote you a ticket for driving without your... Because with a learner's permit, you have to have a licensed driver in the vehicle with you. You understand that? Sure. If I wrote you the ticket for it and I gave you time to actually go out and find it, to actually get it, not Damn, find it. So, like, all right, so you write me a ticket for no license, then I go to court, and if I been, uh, got my license, would they throw that out? Well, th that's up to the judge. But if you actually went out and got your driver's license and actually showed that you went and got tested and everything else, it looks a whole better. I'm even more apt to tell the judge I, I would be fine if it was remanded to file because you actually did what you were supposed to do and actually go out and get your driver's license. As opposed to, because it does cost a few dollars and everything else, so there's no point in me putting... Do you go to school? Do you work? Uh, no, sir. I, I take classes. What do you take classes for? High school diploma. You're taking your GED? Yes, sir. The class at uh, Ed matched up here. Okay. Yeah, behind the police department. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you work? Yes, sir. Okay. I work with my dad every now and then. What kind of work do you so do I with him? He do like roofing and housing and stuff like that. You no, know, that's too hot to be doing during the summer. Well, got it, got it, it survive. It, that you do. I'll write you the ticket. I'll give you enough time where you can turn around, go out, and get your driver's license. An actual driver license, no more of this learner permit stuff. I'll give you enough time then when you go before the judge. If you can turn around where you show you actually weren't qualified for your driver license, I have no problem telling the judge that I would remand it to the file. Yes, if not, then you're just you're going to pay for the ticket. Yes, sir. That fair? Yes, sir. That's fair. Okay. So, can, is it open? Is it open now? Is what? No, it's driver Saturday. <laughs> no, they're closed Monday because of the holiday. Yeah, that's right. It is. Monday's what? Labor, labor Day. Oh, uh, Labor, labor Day. Day. Okay. Stand here with this officer. I'll be right back with you.
Mr. Morris, whose car is this? My Your cousin? It's in there on the corner. Still living right over here? My grandma might be looking at us out of the back door. Yeah. <laughs> District is five. Yes. And then the base, that's my base. Base safe for Central. 23, 25, 5th Avenue. Quinn, what's your middle initial? Uh -huh. What's your home address? Ooh, I can't take this heat. I'm ready for the one time. I can't take this heat. 39701? Yes, sir. That ain't gonna be too much on. Okay. January 17. You know the tags expired too. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's the contact phone number for you? It's not on file. Okay, Mr. Morris, yes, you're being cited for having no driver's license because you don't have it with you, but also you're actually not in compliance with having a licensed driver, so we're just leaving it at no driver, and you didn't even have an adult inside the vehicle. Mm -hmm. You're being given a warning for your expired tag on the car and for not having your proof of insurance. Yes, okay? We, I didn't even get into you turn signal right and going through and all that other junk. Okay, if you wish to pay the ticket, you can call the number on the ticket. They'll tell you what you need to do. However, the court date is for September 28th at 8.30 a.m. in the Columbus Court. Okay, you have three weeks to turn around and get a driver's license. Okay. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, but here's the thing. 
that tag is expired and if there's no insurance on the vehicle I don't expect to see this vehicle driving around whether it's you I don't even care if there's a licensed driver if the vehicle is uninsured with an expired tag doesn't need to be on the road until it has insurance around the tag if we see the vehicle again with the expired tag we'll stop whoever and they're gonna get a citation for everything if we catch you driving again without your license and a licensed driver in the vehicle then you'll get arrested for it here's the, here's the thing whoever owns this vehicle you have no insurance state of Mississippi passed law regardless if they have a wreck regardless if they're fault or not their license can be suspended up to two years to the state okay now, like he said if we catch you up driving again then it's failure to obey you won't go to jail okay so man you gotta go somewhere Get a license driver. Go straight down, park. Get in, jump in, get in a car that's, that's insured, okay? Because, you know, don't, don't, don't mistake in, you know, giving you a break to, that you could just turn around and just drive out again and just be driving around. You need to take care of your business. And I'm giving you the chance to take care of your business. But if we see you out driving around or the car out, and you can let the other people know that tags expired and there's no insurance, then people are going to get citations. If I catch you doing again, then next time you will go to jail. Do you have any questions? Okay, you know what you need to do as far as the ticket, yes, and you're going to get it taken care of. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, have a good day. Uh,